first and foremost, um, uh, we must admit that we have um, a security challenge, uh, putting it mildly in Nigeria. We have at the boundary, if not there already, of uh, a security emergency uh, in which people can no longer move around without fear of being kidnapped or killed. Uh, farmers cannot uh, go to their farms without the danger of being kidnapped or killed. Uh, there's a, uh, the, a scenario of impunity uh, in terms of the inability to apprehend those who commit crime. But quite honestly, I think that uh, we need to moderate the narrative and to limit it to uh, the uh, context of crime. Uh, we have criminals, whether you call them husband or whatever, who are kidnapping, raping, and murdering with impunity. But we do not have an ethnic conflict. And we have to be careful with the language. We do not have a, a conflict between Fulanese and Yorubas, between Igbos and Fulani. We have a conflict generated by Fulani husbandmen, who are particularly the renegades among them. And when we talk about Fulani husbandmen, again, uh, we are stigmatizing herdsmen. We are not just stigmatizing Fulanese, we are stigmatizing herdsmen. There are thousands of herdsmen who are operating, still operating in every part of Nigeria, who are peaceful people, the kind of peaceful, uh, amiable uh, Fulanese that we've, we grew up to uh, know. I remember as a young, as a boy, that uh, we used to see Fulani people transform into uh, marketers of herbs, particularly Afrocidiacs. Uh, the, the, the thing that stuck in my head is the uh, marketing chant, Agumu Dadani, Araba Dedeni, that is selling herbs. These were full of the herbsmen who bring in their rams, their, their cattle, dump them, and transform into marketers. Those, those, that's the image of full of the herbsmen that we have. But we now have renegades. We have imports of full of the men from other countries who do not have the fellow feeling for Nigerians, who, are, who do not care to kill and maim. And we have to be looking at that. So are you satisfied with how the state has responded to those groups of people? Absolutely not. There's a failure around. There's a failure of leadership, failure of governors in those states, failures of traditional rulers who have not mobilized themselves to take up the issue. This thing should have been addressed a long time ago. Failure of security agencies. I don't know why they're doing it, but I can imagine that uh, many of them are dealing with Fulani herdsmen who are so-called the perpetrators of this uh, uh, criminal behavior. They are looking towards the president to give them the go ahead to do something. Maybe they are not getting it. Okay. So there's a, strength, there's a need for the body language of the president to encourage them to deal. But you have to, you have to understand that in all these things, there's emotion, there's psychology. Mm -hmm.